Here we are on page four. On page four, we have two problems, nine and 10. Problem nine is about the relationship sine squared a plus cosine squared a equals one. What does this relationship mean? This is actually a variation of the famous Pythagorean theorem, okay? Let's say that the unit circle has a triangle. The unit circle always has a hypotenuse of one on their triangles, right? Okay, and we already know that if you have an angle on this triangle that the two sides, two straight sides of the right triangle are going to have uh, the lengths cosine of a and sine of a. Okay, because remember, oops, cosine of a is equal to the x coordinate, right? And the sine of a is equal to the y coordinate. So we can draw our triangle and it'll look like this, okay? All right. So, let's do Pythagorean's theorem on this triangle. If we do Pythagorean's theorem on this triangle, we know that the sine squared of angle A plus the cosine squared of the angle A is equal to 1 squared, right? And so we just derived this, okay? 1 squared is 1, right? Now that we know this is true, it asks us to find cosine if we know sine. So we know that sine is 1 fourth. If we know that sine is 1 fourth, then we could take one fourth and we can plug it in here for sine. And then we just don't know what cosine is. So let's figure out what it is. So we're going to put one fourth in for sine squared. So instead of sine squared a, actually, did you know that when you write sine squared a, it's equal to the sine of a squared in parentheses? Okay, so we're going to replace sine of a with one fourth, which we did here, and we put squared around it. And then we say that's equal to, or that's added to, cosine of a squared equals 1. And so what we want to know is, what is cosine of a? Well, now we're just going to do algebra. So 1 fourth squared is 1 sixteenth, right? Plus cosine of a squared equals 1. Now we're going to subtract 1 sixteenth from both sides. So it's going to be cosine of a squared equals 1 minus 1 sixteenth, which is equal to 15 sixteenths. So what is the cosine of a? Cosine of a is the square root of that, so it's equal to the square root of 15 over 16. Some people might simplify that if they're really good to the square root of 15 over 4. Okay? All right, moving on to number 10. Number 10 says the sine of x is equal to negative 3 fifths. It asks us to find sine of 2a, sine of 2x, cosine of 2x, which we can find by one of these formulas, and the tangent of 2x, which we could find by this formula, okay? Um, first of all, the only one I think that we're going to be able to use with only knowing that the sine of x is negative 3 fifths is this one, right? It only requires the sine. So let's find cosine of 2x first. Cosine of 2x, I'm going to rewrite the equation here, is 1 minus 2 sine of x squared. Right? Okay. So I'm going to put 1 minus 2 and sine of x is equal to negative 3 fifths squared. So that'll be 1 minus 2 times 9 25ths, because I squared the 3 and the 5. And that is equal to 1 minus 18 over 25, which is equal to 7 over 25. Okay? All right. So I figured out what cosine of 2x is. Check. What about sine of 2x? How do we find sine of 2x? Uh, there's a couple ways to do it. One is you could use the relationship we just saw. We could use this relationship here. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Okay. The other way you could do it, which is probably the way most people did it, is they're going to use this. Now, to do this, you're going to need, in addition to the sine of x, we'd have sine of x, which is negative 3 fifths. We also need to know the cosine of x. How do we figure out the cosine of x? Well, we're going to use this relationship. Okay. We know that sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So we're going to do that. We're going to have sine of x squared plus cosine of x squared equals 1. We're going to use this to figure out what cosine of x is equal to. So we're going to put negative 3 fifths here squared plus the cosine of x squared equals 1. Negative 3 fifths squared is 9 25ths, right? plus the cosine of x squared equals 1. We're going to subtract 9 25 from both sides. We're going to get cosine of x squared 
equals 16 25ths. And then we're going to find out that if we take the square root of both sides, the cosine of x is equal to 4 fifths. Okay? Um, last thing that we need. Oh, so we haven't still figured it out yet. Now we're going to say, okay, it's equal to sine. Now we're going to take the sine of 2. We're going to use this formula here to find sine of 2x. So sine of 2x is equal to 2 sine of x cosine of x. Okay, so we're going to have 2 negative 3 fifths times 4 fifths. Okay, so that should give me 2 times negative 3 times 4, which is negative 24, divided by 25. Okay, so the sine of 2x is equal to negative 24 divided by 25. All right, last of all, tangent of 2x. Tangent of 2x has this crazy formula here. But actually, tangent of 2x, we could simply find by dividing sine and divide by cosine. Because, as we know, the tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, right? Did you know that if you put opposite over hypotenuse and adjacent over hypotenuse here, it's the same thing because the h's cancel out? And if you have that, then you can also figure out that the opposite over hypotenuse is sine theta and the uh, adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine theta, so we have just shown something that we should have known from last uh, chapter, which is tangent theta equals to sine over cosine. Okay? So if we know that tangent equals sine over cosine, then we could take tangent of 2x is equal to the sine of 2x divided by the cosine of 2x. So the sine of 2x is equal to negative 24 25ths, and the cosine of 2x is equal to 4 fifths. And so now, oops, uh, I'm sorry, the cosine of 2x is equal to, let's go look at that, oh, it's 7 25ths, 7 25ths, okay, so it's equal to negative 24 